Thomas Carlyle, an agnostic and a famous philosopher and historian, wrote a book listing the biggest heroes in history. He selected. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel we post reaction videos other than reactions by the way you can feel free to suggest something that you want to see on this channel and we'll actually do it for you guys you can leave a title but the best thing is to leave a link and we'll react to the exact video that you want us to react to we've got a second youtube channel called funny and jc 2.0 where we vlog and we've got some interesting vlogs out there we post weekly vlogs we drop a, a video on saturday and you can just Every Saturday and you can just check it out if also you want us to, to do something particular on that channel you can let us know in the comment section below and we'll actually do it other than that we've got a patreon account for in Jesse so feel free to become a member we want to be posting the content that we can post on this on YouTube brother so everything that we can post here we want to be posting on patreon other than Patreon, we've got a podcast. You can find us on iTunes or Podbean, diving in with Fanny and Jesse. And when it comes to um, social media, we're on Facebook and Instagram as Fanny and Jesse. So feel free to contact us, say hi, we'll say hi right back. And life moves on. And a big shout out to everyone that's been subscribing to our channel. You guys are the best. 14,000, it's 13,900 and something, but all of that, that's a lot. A big shout out to the people that are subscribing, a shout out to the people that comment, a shout out to people that give us more information, um, more information, a shout out to people that actually interact with us, ask how we're doing, and just a big shout out to everyone that's even watching or comes to watch us on a daily basis or every other day. You guys are the best. We wouldn't do this without you guys. So for everything that I've mentioned, you can find it in the description box below. But I wanted to say, if you like reading, you can check out my blog on WordPress Blue. And you can find short stories and poems there. That's on my Instagram. You can find short stories there. And I've got a new blog coming out. It's going to be on Blogger. It's going to be called Morning Coffee with Funny. And I just want it to be all about positive things. Just we'll see where the... Where the the blog is going to lead me whatever direction or follow as long as it's positive so just feel free to check everything that i've said and enjoy hope you guys are doing all right and thank you for even watching this other um, so today as you can tell from the title i'll be re i'll be reacting to the perfect role model for all humanity so without wasting time let's get into the video one man was born into a barbaric backwards nation 1,400 years ago. A nation full of the worst of people with the worst of values. A nation of paganism and tribal mentality, drunkenness and abuse of women. This man came with a message so against what people believed, yet surprisingly, he was able to transform this society of no law into a well-established civilization that quickly became the superpower of the world. A message so powerful that billions have followed year after year for over 1,400 years and that is the message of Islam. Today, almost a quarter of humanity are Muslim and Islam is the fastest growing world religion. Such facts are incredibly significant and cannot be ignored. What's interesting is no one's life has ever been recorded in anywhere near as much detail as his. Because of the great impact he had on his people, they documented his life so vividly to the point that they would even record how he would eat. And today, there are volumes of books and video series that last more than a hundred hours that talk just about his life and experiences. The beauty of the Prophet Muhammad's history is that it is authentic. There is absolutely no doubt this man existed and even the smallest amount of research can prove this. Allah says in the Quran, chapter 21, verse 107, And we have not sent you except as a mercy to the worlds. 
What's different about Prophet Muhammad is that he wasn't just sent to the Arabs, he was sent to all of humanity as a mercy and guidance. In fact, we can see this today by looking at how much he is respected and admired by many famous non-Muslims. Michael Hart, an astrophysicist and author, wrote a famous book listing the top 100 most influential people in history. In this book, he places Prophet Muhammad as number one in his list. He says, My choice of Muhammad to lead the list of the world's most influential persons may surprise some readers and may be questioned by others, but he was the only man in history who was supremely successful on both the religious and secular levels. Thomas Carlyle, an agnostic and a famous philosopher and historian, wrote a book listing the biggest heroes in history. He selected the number one hero prophet as Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The 11th edition of the Encyclopedia Britannica calls Prophet Muhammad the most successful of all religious personalities. Professor Rao, a famous Indian philosopher, said the following, There is Muhammad, the prophet. There is Muhammad, the warrior. Muhammad, the businessman. Muhammad, the statesman. The orator. The reformer. The refuge of orphans. The protector of slaves. The emancipator of women. All in all, he is like a hero. He also calls him the perfect role model for human life. The Prophet Muhammad has also been praised by many more non-Muslims, including the likes of Gandhi and Lamartine. From an Islamic perspective, there are over 50 verses in the Quran telling us to take the Prophet Muhammad as an example. Allah says in the Quran, chapter 33, verse 21, hasana. There has certainly been for you, in the Messenger of Allah, an excellent example to follow. What we find is that no matter how we study the life of the Prophet, we can benefit. He experienced hardship from all angles of life, yet he dealt with them in such beautiful manners. He gained incredible amounts of power, yet he lived a life of complete simplicity. When you begin to understand the power he had, you will realize it is impossible for anyone not to be affected and that this alone is a sign of true prophethood. Studying the wisdom behind his actions and how he coped with so much struggle allows us to learn and apply these to our own lives. His life lifts our spirits, gives us direction and makes us better people. It breathes optimism in our lives and allows us to find ease in our hardship. Studying the life of the Prophet further strengthens our faith and proves our religion as the truth. Why? Because his whole life is a miracle. Despite coming from where he came with the lack of education he had, he narrated the most eloquent of all speeches that has shaken the world ever since. Allah says in the Quran, chapter 17, verse 81, and say, truth has come and falsehood has departed Indeed, falsehood by nature is ever bound to depart. It is clear that the Prophet Muhammad is globally recognized as an excellent role model by Muslims and non-Muslims. No matter how much the media or Islamophobes try to corrupt the message of Islam, it only allows it to grow more and more. Every single one of us, whether Muslim or not, should study the life of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa everyone can and will benefit. If you want a book to read or a series to watch, I'll provide all the material in the description below. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. That was another interesting video that I have managed to react to to react to today and I think it's quite straightforward uh, there's a lot of great people in this world I guess is the greatest according to some that's not even up for debate otherwise there's many great people that have existed in this life it's not about how great they were it's about how they 
spread whatever they came here to spread did they manage to convince you did they not whatever the case is and i mean at the end of the day it's not like we're going to be uh, asked questions like who's the greatest in this world and then we'll have to say this but then i wanted to say for some he's a perfect role model because he's been made to seem just like you and i like a normal human being someone that you don't praise someone who's for the people someone who works with the people someone who's come from nothing to something i just like the story i just like his story and i think i mentioned it the time i was reacting to his life from birth whatever he went through the marriage but this is one of my favorite stories my f my favorite story should be the Moses one, then followed by Muhammad. These trays are just um, nice trays for me to listen to. I don't know what, which ones are your favorite. If you want, you can let us know in the, you can let us know in the description, or you can just give me a name of someone else that we've never reacted to. Maybe they'll be my third favorite. Otherwise, this was very very interesting. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video and a big shout out to the person that suggested this so i'm out